Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're having t factorial equals to t raised to the power 3 minus t. And t obviously is the unknown. So if we solve together, we're going to say solution. I would like for us to note that the concept of factorial means When t factorial is given, it's represented as t multiplied by t minus 1, multiplied by t minus 2, until we finally arrive at 1. So, for example, if we have 3 factorial, it is written as 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 6. And to further example is 4 factorial, which is equal to 4 times 3, which is one number less than the previous one, which is 4 times 2 times 1. And get that, if you do this multiplication, it will give us 24. And from observation, you can clearly see that 4 factorial is equal to 4 times 3 factorial. Because this part is what we have here for 3 factorial. And also, 3 is equal to 4 minus 1. So in place of 3, we can write 4 minus 1 so that a 4 factorial can be equal to 4 into 4 minus 1 factorial. So therefore, a t factorial, t factorial from this understanding is equal to t, t minus 1. Factorial. You see this? This is crucial. So, in place of t factorial, in our original equation, we write t t into t minus one. So the equation will become t into t minus one factorial is equal to T raised to the power 3 minus T. So T into T minus 1 factorial is equal to, if we factor out T, T raised to the power 3 divided by T to be T raised to the power 2, and T divided by T, that would be 1. So now, I'm going to divide both sides by t. We will have t into t minus 1 factorial over t is equal to t into t squared minus 1 all over t. And t can cancel out from both sides. And we will have here t minus 1 factorial. And on the right hand side, t squared minus 1. Let's call this equation star star. But t minus 1 factorial is equal to t minus 1 times t minus 2 factorial from our previous explanation. So this shows that t minus 1 factorial is equal to this and t minus 1 factorial is also equal to this equation 3 star. So we're going to equate equate equation 2 star to equation 3 star. So that means here, t 
minus 1 into t minus 2 factorial is equal to t squared minus 1. And also we can write 1 as squared. But from algebra, a plus b times a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So this part is in this form. So t minus 1, therefore, into t minus 2 factorial will be equal to t minus 1 and t plus 1. So t minus 1 into t minus 2 factorial is equal to t minus 1 into t plus 1. So here, we have a t minus 1, t minus 1 on both sides. So we are going to divide both sides by t minus 1. Also on this side, t minus 1. So t minus 1 would cancel from both sides. And here, what will be left will be t minus 2 factorial equal to here t plus 1. So the next step will be we will say let k be equal to t minus 2. This means t will be equal to k plus 2. So in the place of t minus 2, we are going to put k. So our equation will become k factorial equals to t is k minus 2 plus 1. k plus 2. t is k plus 2, not minus 2. So that k factorial can be equals to k plus 3. And that is fine. We call it equation A. But k factorial is equals to k into k minus 1 factorial. We call this equation B. So to equate equation A and B, we have here k into k minus 1 factorial to be equal to here. k plus 3. So this also can be equals to k into to k minus 1 factorial minus k equal to 3. This k came over to this side and becomes negative. Now, since we have k here and here, we can factor out k. k into k minus 1 factorial divided by k to be left with k minus 1 factorial and k divided by k will be equals to 1 is equal to 3 and here we can split 3 to be 1 times 3 or 3 times 1 so that our equation would be so if this is possible so we're going to say case 1 1 times 3 k into k minus 1 factorial minus 1 is equal to 1 times 3 here k is equal to 1 and k minus 1 factorial minus 1 is equal to 3 k minus 1 
factorial minus 1 equal to 3. So in the place of k, we are going to write 1 for the value of k that we have arrived at. So 1 minus 1 factorial minus 1 equal to 3. And 1 minus 1 is 0 factorial minus 1 equal to 3. So this obviously is not equal to 3. That means this solution is, is rejected. Again, in case 2, for 3 equal to 3 times 1, k into k minus 1 factorial minus 1 is equal to 3 times 1. So here k is 3 and k minus 1 factorial minus 1 is equal to 1. And for k minus 1 factorial minus 1 equals to 1. So in place of k, we are going to write 3. So we have 3 minus 1 factorial minus 1 is equal to 1. 3 minus 1, that is 2, factorial minus 1 is equal to 1. 2 factorial is 2 times 1, which is 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. This is 1. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. 2 minus 1 is 1 equals to 1. And this is only accepted value. From here, you recall that t is equal to k plus 2. So, t will be equal to 3 plus 2. So, t therefore will be equal to 5. To verify this, our original equation is t factorial is equal to t raised to the power 3 minus t. So this becomes 5 factorial is equal to 5 raised to the power 3 minus 5. And 5 factorial is 120 is equal to 5 raised to the power 3 is 125 minus 5. So you see 120 is equal to 120 because 125 minus 5 will be 120. So the value of t equals to 5 actually satisfies the equation. Thank you for staying tuned. Bye-bye.